All right, so um, this is gonna be a drama blog. I don't know what number. It's uh, December 16th, um, 2018, uh, 3 o'clock p.m. I'm at Starbucks parking lot. I just got a mocha. And uh, I'm gonna make this blog because um, I've been wanting to and it hasn't been working out. So uh, that's the situation at the moment. Um, so what I'm gonna do is actually talk about, so, okay, so the sound's actually messed up. So since the sound's messed up, and there's a cop right there, I don't know what he's doing. Uh, it's, it still records my voice, but it doesn't, uh, it's not recording, uh, everything on equal level of, of sound. So, sorry, I'm gonna continue using the, uh, laptop later tonight, so it looks fuzzy. I don't want to put out fuzzy video stuff that, you know, talks about serious stuff because people can I don't know I, I'm putting out the stuff and people are getting it mess with it and edit it and talk shit but this is part of the light world that we live in so there's not much I can say um but I do want to have say what I want to say and man if, dude I swear like this part of my face is like hella bugging me like something happened to that muscle right there anyway um, yes. anyway uh, you'll know what I'm talking about if you've watched these videos before um so I guess I'll speak up so that this you can hear what I'm saying even if the sounds messed up I'm gonna get a new phone soon um, you know everything I say is okay so I just read this blog this video or the Facebook thing and it says you know if you want peace don't speak to your friends speak to your enemies excuse me and uh, and that's kind of what I've been thinking about is because you know I'm like I'm, these videos might not be getting to uh, people that I care about that that um, you know normal people like that actually uh, have a life and do stuff and are, you know, living life are, you know, over the age bracket of 30 and 40 um, because they're not tech savvy. They don't have time to watch two hour videos. So I understand that. But I also do know that, you know, the people that are watching this are you guys, but some of you guys are not cool with me you know either you're a stranger that don't really know me or you know you think you know me or whatever i feel like i'm under surveillance by law enforcement and and when i say law enforcement it means white folks in america and obviously i'm coming from this place where they feel like i'm raising it i'm raised against the machine and v for vendetta and and uh Zapata and all this weird, you know, all this negative revolutionary anarchy people. Which they might have something, but the, the, the people that actually have taken time to watch what I'm talking about know that that's actually not the whole truth and actually is less of a truth than the real truth of who I am. And so I you know speaking I was like you know I could like try to you know uh, say um, a clean version of what I want to say of, I don't know I don't know basically what I'm saying is speak to your enemy like people that don't like me or people that have questions about me or were you know thinking about what I'm thinking about because I wouldn't be making these blogs or vlogs if um, if I didn't think if I didn't think people were still checking me out.
you know, not because of good, not because of my art. Well, act part of it because of my art, but uh, but because you know they want to find fault in me. But the, at the same time, you know, it's been years, so it's like at the same, you know, my humanness is your humanness. What you see in me is what is part of yourself too. So even if you didn't like me or don't like me or whatever, or if you do, you know, you're going to see faults and good things in me because it's, it's the same thing with my, when I work at places and, you know, uh, they're seeing parts of me that are good, you know, even if they feel like I'm anti-white or anti-America or whatever this stuff is. And um, that's not the case. And, you know, as time goes on, the ideas I'm putting out there are actually our truth, you know? Like, but, you know, it's kind of weird, you know? Like, what are you supposed to compete for who's more American? You know, like, what is the American idea, idea to begin with, you know? Is it just white America or is it America as an idea of human freedom you know and if you and if you think that America and the flag represent freedom for humans for people you know the Constitution what it says you know uh, the, and they don't include black people anymore still and they don't include Native American people or anyone else that's not considered white America then uh, then we're talking about a different America, you know, or the words are, the ideas, just like science, have to change with the times as well, and, uh, you know, it's not a scary thing, it shouldn't be a scary thing, and I would align myself with those people, you know, I'm not a nationalist where I believe your nation is more important than the world, or more important than God, you know, even with all my flaws that people want to see, um, I do believe in God, and uh, that takes precedence over anything else. I mean, other than being a human, I can't not be a human. But uh, but yeah, so this is why I'm making these vlogs. You know, people people that I've known and stuff like that. A lot of a lot of fucked up things happen in in, in my world. But it's kind of weird, you know, I really can't move on with anybody without truth, you know, like, I'm trying to hold on to my truth and trying to share it with people so that they can hear it from the, from the whatever. Um, so, whether it's strangers or not, so basically whoever's watching this, and, and you know, it's kind of fucked up because I'm an artist and I have to live on uh, other people buying my stuff, you know, and as an independent artist, I rely on normal people to buy my stuff and if the government or whoever is in charge is worried about me spreading uh, anarchy through my work which is like dude how many other artists have that same uh, is stigma on them it's like dude you guys that's what artists are here for is to challenge the normal ideas of society so that we can get to reality and uh, should be a good thing and if you understand if people understood it you would realize that that's what it's it's only it's like digging it's like farming you know you got to have all of nature work together to to grow your crops if you want to uh you know uh bi biologically enhance stuff and take you know you're gonna actually ruin the crops whether it's whether it's the vitamins that are in it or you know, weird stuff that happens. It's not gonna work the same, because science is only uh, a dissection of what's of what nature does better than anything that we could do. You know, you cut down the tree. You know, like you can't you can't control nature as much as people want to control nature. Like nature actually works better. Um, 
nature's gonna win, you know, it's always wins at the end, you know, cancers and all this other, like we can cure certain diseases, which is good. That's what we're, we're made to create. But in the end, uh, you know, it is survival of the fittest, you know, and, and sometimes people need to pass away in their old age or whatever. Things happen, you don't like overpopulation. You don't need over, you know, we're so smart and we want to make awesome things. But then you have this, you know, then you end up putting all these animals in cages, you know, and it's like, what kind of world is that? Now that we're, you know, we're all in cages now. Not only the other animals, but we are. We, in, we, in, we caged ourselves. So whether you're military or, or police officers or lawyers or doctors or some homeless person or drug dealer or whatever, artist, someone that knows me or don't know me, you, you got, now you understand where I'm coming from. I'm sad that this video is not going to be perfect because it, it has... The sounds kind of messed up, so every time I, I don't want to put out things that I gonna have to re-say, or you know, not gonna be out there. Basically, what I'm trying to say is I don't know who's watching these, but the numbers should match the numbers that are people are watching. Because not because I'm trying to get famous off of fucked up shit, but because this is part of reality of my reality. It's like taking. Um, not paying people for what they're, they're doing in the world. And, uh, and the reality is, uh, the way people work is upon popularity. And if you take away, like, Martin, I don't know what the hell's his name, Martin Short, or no, not Martin Short, I don't know his name. Uh, the dude, Hey Gina guy. I don't know his whole life. I don't know what happened, but if you don't, now he can't speak. Now he doesn't have TV shows, or I don't know what he was doing in real life, but, you know, like Wesley Snipes and all these people, like, because they don't fit into the, the dominant society of America, they're silenced and so with YouTube and Facebook and all these Instagram and they should have we should have a platform that is equal so that people can give out information to each other and communicate with each other instead of having government or you know weird societies uh, choosing who who gets to say or who doesn't and that's gonna be a problem it's, it is a problem and it's gonna be a problem and I, it's a problem for me um, I take uh, I take it as a compliment that people feel that uh, I'm a threat to that fucked up way of thinking because I, it is fucked up like I don't agree with it I don't agree with silencing people that like killing John Lennon and shit like how are you gonna kill John Lennon, the singer? Uh, you know, it's just weird, you know. Like fuck. So I take condolences, or you know, uh, that that I'm doing the best I can with what's going on in the world, and. Uh, I know people around me trying to silence me in a lot of different ways. Like they've done my predecessors. So I'm continuing this this lineage of, of artists that are challenging their current state of affairs of their world. And we always have... And it's a good thing, you know? It's like, it's a good thing. I don't understand why people don't understand that. Like... We need diversity for the world to be better. You know, I'm not saying that I can do what other people can do. Like, I'm not, I can't, I'm, I have ideas, but I'm not a politician. I'm, I'm, I have ideas, but I'm not a military person. I have ideas, but I'm not a doctor. I have ideas, but I'm not a freaking uh, mason person that builds stuff. 
And uh, as far as being threatened by ideas, that's a problem. I don't know. I mean, history speaks for itself. But uh, ideas are powerful. But they also, you can't stop them. It's not only me that's going to say it. You know, you, you can suppress it only for so long. And uh, the more you suppress it, the worse it's going to get for the people that are suppressing it. Because uh, history shows that those people get mobbed and stuff. So, so yeah, I mean, and for the people that want, that agree with me or want to be, uh, hear what I'm saying or understand what's going on, like, I wholeheartedly acknowledge you and accept that that we can only do it together you know the world's going to change no matter what and i want to be i'm part of it we all are part of it but i want to i'm we can uh, we're part of each other you know like and i it's time for me to to uh take my to do what i need to keep doing And talking about the people that have put me in a place in a, this cage or whatever, you know, like, it is ridiculous, you know? Like, I don't know, you, you know, you must know me well enough to know that that's not going to happen. Um, I don't know who else got broken that you were able to do that to. But, uh, I mean, I, I can speak on people that are around me that I, I see that happening to them or whatever, but it's... Like, they themselves have said, you know, they're not, they're speaking on themselves, you know, like, seriously, like, if they can't handle a situation, they're going to get that back. They're talk when they say, when they reference me about something that's going to happen, they're really, they're referencing themselves, you know, if, that what they would do in that situation. You know, I have my own gifts and, uh, and abilities to to handle what's going on in this world, you know, to handle my situation and and to my fight is is my own fight, and I don't I'm the only one that knows my battle scars and also my uh, triumphs and uh, and what I want to do in the future, which is and what I don't want to do in the future, you know, what basically how I win and how I'm gonna lose and how I'm gonna win is being my, being true to myself and being whole to myself playing my part in the world and you know like somebody another a white friend said he's like don't kill the messenger or whatever like i'm the messenger right and uh and i thought about it i was like you know i'm not it's not like i'm the first person to ever come out and say what i'm saying you know i'm glad that all these people around me feel that all my friends and loved ones feel that I've been that important, whether they're for or against me or they're scared for their own lives or whatever. I'm glad that they've been, uh, they believe in that, you know, my effect on the world is, is a uh, important one because they know parts of me that is a good part, you know, like they know me since I was a kid. So they know, uh, that I wasn't as selfish as, as the world is, feels I am and uh, and that I'm not trying to do this for glory um, that you know it's just it's something that is happening that the world put me here so you know I would have been fine like Bob Dylan said just being an, a musician and an artist you know um, but I don't know I don't know really what to say um, like Jonah and the whale, it's like, dude, I don't know. Like, I'm, these are not my words that I'm. I'm trying not to say what I feel more than what's really going on. And uh, for those people, whether you don't you like me or don't, you know that's I'm not lying. Um, and that's it, really. Like, and. Anything I do in the world is going to be a good thing for everybody, not 
just for me or not for Mexicans or black people or whatever you know and uh, I hope you know but we're all humans so it's not like we're in control of what's gonna happen in the future but uh, I'm not gonna dumb myself down for the convenience of the people that are scared or fear of the future and that's why I'm making this. Whether they're part of my family or part of uh, people that I've that I've offended, or you know, future generation. I don't know. It doesn't matter who is next or who is before me or who is my peers or or competition. You know, I can't. It's not up to me to dim this light that has been given to me. Like all of us have. Our duties. Um, I know it sounds kind of weird. I'm talking like, you know, ooh, but you know, I can't. That's what's really going on. You know, if you don't understand it, you're you're hiding your yourself. And I'm not speaking on it uh, because I'm less than. You know, I'm speaking on it because that's what I really feel is going on. That's it. So, yeah, let's see if this video works and...